Good morning, everybody. Welcome back and Happy New Year. Howdy, y'all. So we have a little rain in the forecast, so Cody is going to put up our canopy and set it over the kitchen so I can get breakfast started. And this morning, I'm gonna be making blueberry biscuits. finished breakfast got all the dishes cleaned up and those biscuits were so good so worth the time making were they not delicious all right bacon <laughs> bacon grease to cook biscuits with blueberries and then some yeah. uh what was that glaze um what did i put in the glaze uh, uh vanilla powdered extract. sugar powdered sugar vanilla extract and whipping cream delish you saw us put up the, this white canopy this morning, which if you watched our windy vlog, um, the first time we set this up was in Fredericksburg and we had some crazy winds that day. But we want to go full disclosure on this Ozark Trail canopy. This is a new design. It is nothing like the old one that we had. Cody, take it away. All right, y'all. It looks really cool at first glance. And what I thought was pretty neat is this one handle here in the center. You end up you end up having all the tension where all you have to do is just push straight up and it's supposed to lock everything in but that creates weak points over here there used to be a pin like this pin right here this used to be up here and you used to be able to have something to give it tension and lock it in now there's nothing so it just starts sliding well after that one wind it did this and it will not get back into a form to help hold up so I really have to say I'm disappointed with this with this purchase because normally if that pin was there this thing would look like this watch and it would stay and it would stay 
through high winds and everything. So this is a horrible design. Very disappointed. Do not get this if you see it like this. So not only with this brand, but I did go on Amazon to look for other canopies and it seems this is the new design that they're going with. And the winds that we were in uh, in Fredericksburg, they're really nothing compared to when we go to the beach. We like this canopy, so when we go to the beach, we can just drag it out, pop it up. And the winds there are consistently 20 plus miles per hour all day on the beach. That's just not gonna do. So we're on the look for some kind of beach canopy. Uh, we have telescoping poles for a tarp. So what we're about to do now is we're taking this down and we're gonna put two tarps up. The reason we're setting up the tarps is because tomorrow we're gonna have some rains potentially for about four or five hours straight. And that way we're not just stuck in the, can the uh, tent all day. Um, you guys won't be with us tomorrow for that, but we are going to go ahead and test this out for the first time with these telescoping poles. These are actually from the Rhino Rack Batwing awning that were in the trailer. It has a little pin here and we didn't even know that this came with the this bat wing awning wall these were in there and we thought they were extra legs in case one of these went bad but we saw this hook and it dawned on us that this hook will hold a tarp in place so we're gonna like kelly said test that and uh see how that little hook does Okay, not really sure what we were doing. I guess we should have bought two, no, we should have bought one large tarp. We have two eight by tens and we should have got one large. But when we bought the tarps at the time, we didn't have the poles or we didn't know the poles were in the bag. So what we've done here is we have strung both tarps together like so, with this blue paracord. paracord and then we've got both tele telescoping poles we're going to put one on each end he's back here what are you doing babe i'm anchoring this tarp on the back side so that it tugs the the tarp at corners and tries to keep it spread out wide when the wind starts blowing and when the water starts sagging on it, it's got a lot of tension on it so if you notice i came from back here down to here at an angle we'll see how it does Okay, I'd have to say we're both pretty impressed with this um, rig up. <laughs> but now, what are you gonna do, honey? So what I'm doing next is I'm just to keep tension on the, uh, on the tarp so it doesn't flap in the center. I'm putting this cordage through these eyelets here all the way across like I did across the top up there. And whenever I get ready to tighten this up, like I did how I stake those down, it will add tension to this part of the tarp and keep the tarp from flapping when it's raining and has a lot of wind coming through. So we'll see, we'll see how this works. So we place these sticks here in the eyelets just to keep the tarp from sliding, the rope from sliding in the on the tarp. And this is our last stake. So if you notice, we've got enough tension that it, uh, and we came out really far away, probably about 20 foot away so that it pulls the tarp out more of an angle because the closer you get it pulls the tarp more down because of the angle pitch this will give us a little bit more walking room and storage room whenever it starts raining through here we just threaded the tarps together back forth back forth you don't want to cross the the rope through you want to make sure you come in and then go out on the same side because if you start crossing it's going to make the two tarps separate like that which is a good thing if you want to put this over a fire because you can make the same concept add a little bit of a gap and let the smoke go through and have a fire up under here we've done that before on the back side if you see we went way out with that rope to help pull tension and we did it at an angle so that it pulls the tarp that direction if we would have gone straight back with the with the rope with the cordage the tarp would have wanted to slide back and forth so you want it to go out at an angle like we've done on every single uh, corner I'm, I'm very happy with this i think it's gonna work i don't know it might be too short i mean we're gonna have water coming on the sides but we'll figure it out
So my dad, knowing that I needed new uh, tackle gear for Christmas, went out and got me a few new things. This ugly fishing stick, that's the brand is ugly stick, and this quantum reel, and a really nice tackle box. We went with this one since it would be in the trailer being beaten up. This is real thick and sturdy. It's a brand by Bass Mafia is the brand of this. And we went all out here. Got a couple little poppers here, rattle traps here, a couple diving baits that mimic a crawfish, some jigs, and a jitterbug. I'm gonna go try fishing. We're in the headwaters of the Little Mall Mail. I don't even think, Kelly, we told him where we're at, have we? We're back in the Washtals in Arkansas because it's 70 something degrees right now. It feels awesome. We came back here, but we wanted to camp next to the Mall Mail, headwaters of the Mall Mail River. And that's where we're at right now. And because it's a small, shallow waterway, I want to go over here and try to catch some fish. But I don't want to use anything that goes underwater. I want to use something that sets across the top. So I'm going to try this black jitterbug here. I got a good feeling. Let's see what we can do. this one look at that right there bam sunsets it gets pretty chilly so we were sweating earlier but we ended up building a fire and tonight I'm going to be making some steaks and asparagus and uh, fires getting out of control and some that kind of caught me off guard uh, some sweet potatoes I'm gonna dice them up really small saute them in the pan with some caramelized onion and I think I was always gonna add I think just caramelized onion. I'm not sure, let me think about that. We're gonna enjoy this evening. No more rain today, but we're prepared for in the morning. So let's get dinner started. It's really cool that Kelly's making steaks tonight because our friends are here. Our carnivore friends. Coyotes. Oh. Oh yeah. They are close again. I mean, they are probably 150 yards away, but when they howl, it's just so, there it goes. It's so peaceful. See if you can hear. Well, there's a jet going.
Now they're a little bit further away. They were real close a minute ago. Right now I am chopping up my sweet potatoes. I'm chopping them up pretty small because I'm going to cook them in a skillet with some caramelized onion. So I'm going to have them cover them and make them cook really quickly. And Kelly is digging her new little butcher block table thing that dad put together. Oh yeah, I love it. Works great this morning. I did my biscuits on it. Worked really well. It's perfect. Uh, I think I'm going to change skillets. So if you notice, maybe this morning I got a new skillet. This one right here, it's the Amusa brand. Got it at Super One, and it's still cast iron. It's a light cast iron, um, but this handle does not get hot, so I like that. It's good sauteing, and I would do my potatoes in it, but I want to cover them, and my lid fits perfect over this pan, so I'm going to use that. It almost looks like a wok, almost like a small version of a, of a wok from the side. Here's the brand name right there. Some more oil on top here. And salt and pepper. I am. I'm going to go ahead and cover these and let them cook. And while we're waiting on that, I'm going to chop up my purple onion over there. You know, I don't think I've ever seen her do this before. Have I seen you do this no. before? I've never seen you do this no. before. So is this going to be like mushy? Uh, no, no, it gonna... no. It's going to be like, uh, you know, when I make the fried potatoes for the um, burrito? Yeah. Like that. Oh. Are we going to put any brown sugar on it? No, it's not like that. It's not like that. Butter? No, I've got oil on it. Oh, okay. You know what I'm thinking about? No, it's Marshmallows, not, not like that. cinnamon. It's not like that. It's not like that, okay. All right, so next, I'm gonna cut this up. Now I'm gonna throw in my onion. Okay, good, it's not cold yet. All right, what else? Uh, asparagus and steaks. Oh, and on the steaks, if y'all remember when we cooked that hamburger meat recently, and I said that's my dad split a cow with some friends, and it was grass-fed beef, and three guys split it. These steaks are going to be from that. One's a New York strip, and one's a ribeye. It's going to be really nice. Now, the asparagus. Well, that was my idea. Do I know how it's being cooked? I have no clue. But it was my idea. I'm just going to bake it with some salt, pepper, Parmesan cheese. What are you trying to get that oven at? Uh, probably 400. You can't tell we really like pepper. <laughs> really like pepper. So here's the potatoes. They're done. It looks like the onion caramelized. I'm just going to cover it while we're waiting on everything else. I pulled out the steaks. Here's what we got. We got a beef ribeye steak. Bam. And then we got a beef loin New York strip. Okay, so my oven is actually hotter than 400, but I turned the heat down, and that's hot already. And I'm going to go ahead and slip it in for about, I'm just going to check it at 10 minutes since it's kind of hot already. I just seasoned these steaks with salt, pepper, and blackened seasoning. I've got butter in the skillet. Kelly already flipped it, but boy, it's looking good. Looking really good. So here's my bad boy. Look at that. I'm gonna let that rest, let the juices redistribute throughout the rest of the meat, because what it did with the heat, it concentrated in the center. So now it's gonna be good and juicy. I was trying to go for medium, medium rare, somewhere in there, that's how I like my meat, but Kelly likes hers like medium well. I like medium. You like medium? Yeah. When I met Kelly though, she used to like it well done where it was like so burnt the only way to get flavor back on it was for steak sauce. Yeah. I taught her. I taught her well. Hey y'all. Uh, Cody's cooking. Are you enjoying it? Oh yeah. 
I told him he can cook my steak. Everything else is done, so once my steak is finished, we can eat dinner. Let's get this bad boy out. Uh, beautiful. So we'll let Kelly's rest for a minute now, too, to make sure it looks good. You have that knife. All right. Mm, looks good. Mm. Smells good. Okay. Is that even? Mm-hmm. That's pretty even. I think it's fine. Oh, heck yeah. Is that good? Oh, yeah. Okay, perfect. That's exactly how I like mine. That was a mistake. It was good. See? Really good flavor. I know what I'm doing sometimes. How are the potatoes? Phenomenal. In the asparagus. Yeah, that's easy though. It was all pretty easy, really. Well, thank y'all for being here on our very first New Year's vlog mm -hmm. of the new year for the year of the new. It's going to be good. It's going to be good. 2022 is going to be better than 2021 for us. Yeah. I know it. Feel it. But we're going to enjoy this fire for the rest of the evening, and we'll catch you on the other. See you next time.